Good morning, students and staff. It is time for our morning news and announcements. Today is Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and the visible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may all be seated. Now for the school pledge. Please recite along with me. I promise to treat others with kindness and respect. Keep our school safe, be ready to learn, have a positive attitude, and give my personal best every day. I am a special person. I am a wildcat. We have a special staff birthday today for Ms. Lewis. If you see Ms. Lewis in the hallway, make sure you wish her a happy birthday. The birthday celebrations for the rest of this week are for Nora Herrera, Lucas McDaniel, Noah McDaniel, and Ariana Davis. Please come to the office for your birthday surprise. If you could, this is just a friendly reminder to please make sure you do your uh, student attendance uh, every morning by 8.30. Thank you. Hey BPS, so today we're gonna do our third and final fluency segment um, and it's on phrasing. We already talked about fluency being three things. Rate, how fast or how slow you read, intonation when your voice changes and today we're going to talk about phrasing and that's when words and um, groups of words are chunked together that naturally go together let me show you what I mean so I have a poem up here called little little rabbit and I'm going to read it without phrasing little rabbit one day I saw a little rabbit going hop, hop, hop. I said, hello, little rabbit. Can you stop, stop, stop? How did that sound? I think it could sound a little bit better. All right, so I have the Little Rabbit poem that we just read on the board, or I just read, with no phrasing. So I want to take a look at this very first line. One day I saw a little rabbit. Do you hear the very first phrase, one day, and then I saw was chunked together and a little rabbit was chunked together. Then, if I read this with phrasing, I would say going, hop, hop, hop. Going is kind of on its own, in its own phrase, and then hop, hop, hop is also a phrase. Then, I said is a phrase, and I want you to notice this comma. You do a very short, pause when you see a comma and a longer pause when you do when you see a period. Hello, notice you see another little comma, so a little pause. Little rabbit is a phrase. Can you stop, stop, stop? Do you notice can you is one phrase and stop, stop, stop is another. So now I'm going to read it completely with good phrasing. Little rabbit. One day I saw a little rabbit going hop, hop, hop. I said, hello, little rabbit. Can you stop, stop, stop? Notice when you phrase, you chunk words that naturally go together. And that's all about phrasing. Thank you and have a terrific Tuesday.